Welcome to Kids Create, I'm Hannah. This is our last combo challenge. So far we've had Jenny Key, Anthony Gowdy, Bridget Riley, Oliver Eliasson. Who's left? Let's find out. Okay, let's pick today's artist. Who have we got? We have got Grayson Perry. Okay, what do I know about Grayson Perry? I know he is an artist from England and he, he's a ceramicist actually. He draws um, stories, he tells stories through his drawings of people and places, but they're not special people. He likes to celebrate the everyday person like you or me, which is really cool. Uh, but that is all I know about him, so we definitely need to do a little bit more research. Okay, let's have a look at the material that goes with Grayson. What have we got left? Potatoes. That would be quite a good one, actually. What can we do with potatoes? We can definitely print with them, can't we? So that'll be a nice challenge. Okay, let's get stuck in. I start my Google search finding out all about Grayson. What kind of art does he make? What inspires him? I'm finding out that he is inspired by everyday people and really likes to celebrate their lifestyle. Following my research, I brainstorm and make notes to allow my brain to download all the information I've just found out. Then I highlight the things I want to concentrate on in my design. I put together a mood board using some of the images and information I've collated. This acts as an overview of Grayson and his work, helping me to focus on his style. It's also a brilliant resource for me to look at if I feel a bit stuck. Grayson is an English contemporary artist. He observes society and culture in the UK and makes art with a sense of humour. Grayson designs and makes ceramic vases, tapestries and sculptures. His vases are classical forms decorated in bright colours, often with popular culture as subjects. Grayson is well known for cross-dressing in fabulous dresses as his female alter ego, Claire. And here are two images I found whilst researching potato printing. They are going to help inspire me with my design. I've decided to take inspiration from celebrating my everyday. I need to think of things that represent what I love most in my life. I need to make this into a block print that I can cut from a potato. This is quite a challenge, a problem that I need to find a solution for. I use my sketchbook to help me do lots of creative thinking. Hello, Barry here. Creative thinking is very important as it can help you to come up with lots of different solutions to a problem. It also helps you think of new ideas, which is useful if you are an inventor. You can practice being creative by exploring the world around you, being curious and learning something new, asking lots of questions, and using any free time just to play. Ooh, a sneak peek. Shh, this is what Hannah's going to make. Here are some of the things you'll need to create a potato block print. Okay, so let us um, start making our uh, potato prints. So what we've got, we're going to have four halves if we cut all of these, the two potatoes. We've done two already. I'm just going to cut this one up. This is taking ages. Perhaps use a sharper knife and ask for help if you've not done it before. So once you've got your two halves, I would suggest, because it's quite juicy in the middle there, you can just dry them off a little bit on a tea towel before you start to cut. To start your uh, pattern, what you need to do is draw out first of all on your potato what it is you're going to cut. I'm just using a pen here. And I'm going to start with the heart because that's the easiest out of all of the four shapes I'm going to draw. So then you take your standing knife. You have to be very careful, just get a little bit on the end there. And we're just going to go over what we've just done there with our pen. Remember to ask for some help if you've not used a standing knife before. And the good thing with this standing knife, you can make the blade a lot longer and it can get into all those little fiddly places. So once the potato is ready to print, you can now start to apply the paint. I'm using fabric paint as I'm going to print it onto a tea towel. I just use my finger to dab on the paint, but you could also use a paintbrush or a roller. So once you've got it all the area covered that you want to print with, then you can apply it to the surface and just press down with even pressure to get your first print. Then you can also experiment with printing a lighter colour with less paint. And here is what I printed earlier to showcase each of the four everyday things that mean a lot to me. Our dog, my family, swimming, and a heart to represent how I feel about all of the things. Our Grayson Perry inspired tea towel. 
We've got all of our little elements on here. As you can see, I printed all over it. And what I liked, I liked some of the little places where it went over the top. I thought that looked quite nice. If I was to do um, this again, I'd probably actually do it on the t-shirt or even an apron or something you could wear, because I think that would be quite nice. And then you could show your friends what means a lot to you in your life. Let's now have a poem. Spike Milligan again. My sister Laura. My sister Laura is bigger than me and lifts me up quite easily. I can't lift her, I've tried and tried. She must have something heavy inside. There's a little picture. Thanks so much for watching along. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for following along to Kids Create. If you feel inspired, maybe you could make something from this video, or if you wanted to take a different artist or designer, or maybe even a different material and see what you can make. If you've got something to share, we'd love to see it. So perhaps you could upload it to Facebook or Instagram. And remember hashtag virtual insight. See you, bye.